Hello and welcome to the Mint tutorial video. Mint is a decentralized stablecoin minting protocol powered by the Kava platform. Mint allows you to leverage your crypto assets to create collateralized debt positions, or CDPs, and issue USDX stablecoin loans in seconds. In this video, we will show you how to create a new CDP and how to make adjustments to your open CDPs. Creating a CDP. To begin, navigate to app.kava.io and select the type of wallet you would like to connect. Follow the prompts for your selected wallet to connect to the Kava platform. Once your wallet is connected, click on the Mint tab. Here you will see a list of assets that you can supply to create a CDP, along with their borrow APY in the column on the right. This is the annual interest rate for the loan, which will accumulate per block as long as the CDP is open. Now let's create a CDP and mint some USDX. If you haven't used the app before, the first step will be to click Load next to the asset that you want to supply as collateral and select the amount you want to load onto the app to use in your CDP. You will see the Load button now says Supply and Borrow. Click the button and select either how much you would like to supply or how much you would like to borrow. Clicking Safe Max will auto-select 60% of the total borrow limit. If you want to take on more or less risk, you can increase or decrease the amount of USDX that you borrow. Below the supply and borrow fields are the current price and the liquidation price. The liquidation price is the threshold that your collateral asset price cannot fall below for the CDP to stay open. Notice that the liquidation price will change as the numbers above are adjusted. To create the CDP, just confirm that all the details are correct and click Supply and Borrow. Once you have minted USDX, you can supply the USDX to lend or swap to start earning rewards with it. Adjust a CDP. Open CDPs can be adjusted to avoid liquidation, borrow additional USDX, or withdraw collateral at any time. To lower the liquidation price, you can either supply additional collateral or repay USDX. This is a good way to avoid liquidation if the price of your collateral asset has dropped unexpectedly. You can also borrow more USDX from your available total or remove collateral. Doing so will raise the liquidation price, increasing the risk of liquidation. If the market price of the collateral asset drops below the liquidation price, your assets will be liquidated and put up for auction. Auctions usually take between 8 to 24 hours to execute. You should expect to have approximately one-third of your collateral returned. That's it. Now all that's left is to mint some USDX and put your crypto to work.